Nobody really knows this, but there was a huge possibility that Carlos Alcaraz might join back-to-back -back Wimbledon champions. And he did it. And there is a huge reason for it. Buckle up, because we're about to serve you some serious next-gen heat. Have you heard of Carlos Alcaraz's insane performance? This 19-year-old Spanish phenom is taking the tennis world by storm, and Wimbledon ain't ready for what's coming. But he really won it all? We'll dive deep into his chances, analyzing his relentless baseline game and his mind-blowing court coverage. It's gonna get intense, but Alcaraz isn't all about backhands and drop shots. We'll also unveil the world of this rising superstar. Who's his mystery cheerleader cheering him on from the stands? Is there a special someone waiting for him after matches? Girlfriend alert? And let's not forget the lavish lifestyle that comes with being a tennis champion. Mansion tours, luxury car collections, we'll show you the millionaire behind the racket. But before you get lost in the glamour, the question remains, how good is Carlos Alcaraz? Really? We'll dissect his daily training routine, the sacrifices he's made, and the relentless work ethic that's propelling him to the top. So smash that like button, subscribe for more, and get ready to be obsessed with Carlos Alcaraz. We're about to uncover everything you need to know about this tennis prodigy on and off the court. Let's go. In 2023, a young lion roared at Wimbledon. 19-year-old Carlos Alcaraz shocked the world, defeating Novak Djokovic in a five-set thriller to claim his first Grand Slam title. Now, a year older and brimming with experience, the question on everyone's lips is, can he do it again? Experts believe Alcaraz has a strong chance. He's built on the momentum of his 2023 win, adding several more titles to his belt. Coach Juan Carlos Ferrero, known for shaping Rafael Nadal, commented, his game is more complete, he's serving better, and his net game is sharper. However, Wimbledon presents unique challenges. The quicker grass favors players with a serve and volley style, something not at the core of Alcaraz's baseline dominant game. The grass is an adjustment, Alcaraz himself admitted, but I'm working hard to adapt my power to this surface. A major obstacle could be Novak Djokovic. The dethroned champion will be hungry for revenge, especially after a near flawless season. Their epic 2023 final showcased Djokovic's mental resilience. Can Alcaraz handle the pressure of defending his title against a rejuvenated Djokovic? There's also the threat of the rising generation. Players like Yannick Sinner and Holger Rune have honed their grass court skills and are eager to upset the established order. While a repeat victory isn't guaranteed, Alcaraz's talent and dedication are undeniable. If he can adapt his game and maintain his composure, especially against Djokovic, he had a real shot at becoming a two-time Wimbledon champion, and he got it with both hands. One thing's for sure, the 2024 Wimbledon final was a heart-stopping clash, rewriting the narrative of tennis history. Despite his young age, Carlos Alcaraz has already amassed a significant fortune. While not quite reaching the levels of tennis legends like Novak Djokovic and Roger Federer, Alcaraz's net worth is estimated to be a staggering $60 million or more. A large portion of Alcaraz's wealth comes from his on-court success. At just 21 years old, his career prize money already surpasses $31 million. This is particularly impressive, considering he's only participated in 14 Grand Slams, winning a remarkable three of them. His dominance has even made him the favorite for most Grand Slams this year, with only Janik Sinner, thanks to his Australian Open victory, posing a challenge. This rapid rise has seen him break into the top 10 all-time list for most money earned in tennis. While he has a long way to go to reach Djokovic's $180 million plus in prize money, Alcaraz's trajectory is undeniably impressive. A key example of his earning power was his $3 million win at the 2023 Wimbledon Championships. Alcaraz is a marketing magnet, attracting major brands since his early teens. At just 10 years old, he signed a lucrative deal with racket giant Babolat, a partnership that extends until at least 2030. Beyond rackets, Alcaraz boasts high-profile endorsements with companies like BMW, Rolex, Nike, Calvin Klein, and Louis Vuitton. Alcaraz is now the face of luxury, and everyone wants a piece, hence click on the link for an exclusive luxury product at a discount. Alcaraz isn't just focused on building his personal wealth. In April 2024, he launched the Carlos Alcaraz Garcia Foundation, 
a non-profit organization located in his hometown of El Palmar. The foundation aims to help underprivileged children by working with local schools and providing them with access to sports facilities. Alcaraz's net worth is sure to continue growing as his career progresses. With his exceptional talent, dedication and growing commercial appeal, he has the potential to become one of the highest earning tennis players of all time. While surpassing legends like Djokovic might be a long-term goal, Alcaraz is already etching his name in the history books, both for his on-court achievements and his impressive financial success. Here is how it all began. Carlos Alcaraz Garfia, born on May 5, 2003, is a Spanish professional tennis player who has reached the rank of world number one in men's singles by the Association of Tennis Professionals, ATP, and is currently world number three. Alcaraz has claimed 14 ATP tour-level singles titles, including three major titles, 2022 US Open, 2023 Wimbledon Championships, and 2024 French Open, and five Masters 1000 titles. At 19 years old, he became the youngest man to top the singles rankings following his 2022 US Open victory. Alcaraz turned professional in 2018 and quickly made a name for himself by winning three titles on the ITF Men's World Tennis Tour and four on the ATP Challenger Tour. By May 2021, he broke into the top 100 and finished the year in the top 35 after reaching the US Open quarterfinals. In March 2022, Alcaraz won his first Masters 1000 title at the Miami Open at age 18, followed by another at the Madrid Open where he defeated Rafael Nadal, Novak Djokovic, and Alexander Zverev consecutively. In 2022, Alcaraz won his first major singles title at the US Open, becoming the youngest year-end number one in ATP history and earning the Laureus World Breakthrough of the Year Award. In 2023, he secured two more Masters 1000 titles at Indian Wells and Madrid, and his second major title at Wimbledon, defeating Djokovic. He ended the year as the youngest and first teenage world number one in ATP history. Born in El Palmar, Murcia, Spain, Alcaraz began playing tennis at age four at the Real Sociedad Club de Campo de Murcia, where his father was the tennis academy director. His father, once a ranked player in Spain, guided him before Alcaraz moved to Vilena in 2018 to train at Juan Carlos Ferrero's JC Ferrero Equalite Sports Academy. In February 2020, at age 16, Alcaraz made his ATP main draw debut at the Rio Open, defeating Albert Ramos Vignolas. At age 17, he became the youngest participant in the Australian Open men's singles main draw, winning his debut match. He then became the youngest match winner in Madrid Open history and entered the top 100 in May 2021. That year, he reached his first ATP final at the Croatia Open and won his maiden ATP title. Alcaraz's notable performances in 2021 included defeating World No. 3 Stefanos Tsitsipas at the US Open and reaching the quarterfinals, becoming the youngest US Open men's quarterfinalist in the Open era. He also won the next-gen ATP finals. In 2023, after dealing with a hamstring injury, Alcaraz won the Argentina Open and returned to world number one after his victory at the Indian Wells Open. He also defended his titles at the Barcelona Open and Madrid Open, becoming the youngest player to achieve these feats. Despite a loss at the Rome Masters, he regained the number as one, ranking after winning his first grass title at the Queen's Club Championships and later the Wimbledon Championships. At the 2023 US Open, Alcaraz reached the semi-finals but lost to Daniel Medvedev. He ended the season as the year-end world num dollar two after competing in the ATP finals. In 2024, Alcaraz won his third major title at the French Open, completing the career surface slam and continuing to solidify his place among tennis's elite and now everyone is eager to see what he does in the ongoing Wimbledon tournament. At a young age, Carlos has achieved remarkable feats, becoming the youngest ever number one ranked player and securing Grand Slam titles like the US Open and Wimbledon. But beyond the trophies and aggressive baseline play lies a story of dedication, family, and a surprising lack of interest in the trappings of fame. Tennis runs deep in Alcaraz's blood. Growing up in a small village called El Palmar, Spain, he was surrounded by generations who loved the sport. Inspired by his great uncle's tennis club, and his father's own unfulfilled professional dreams, Alcaraz picked up a racket at the tender age of four. His talent was evident, and his family, 
including his three siblings who also share a passion for tennis, nurtured his skills. The road to success wasn't without hurdles. Alcaraz's family faced financial limitations when they wanted to send him to a world championship under 10S competition. However, their unwavering support and the help of a friend allowed him to participate, proving his mettle by reaching the finals. This early experience solidified his determination and paved the way for future sponsorships. Despite his meteoric rise to fame and a bank account reflecting his achievements, Alcaraz remains grounded. He prioritizes spending time with friends and family, enjoying simple pleasures like playing board games or engaging in strategic chess matches, which he finds similar to the mental game of tennis. Interestingly, while major brands like Rolex, Louis Vuitton, and Calvin Klein have flocked to him, Alcaraz maintains a casual approach to fashion and material possessions, leaving the financial management to his father. His passion, however, lies in collecting vintage Nike trainers, a testament to his love for the sport that propelled him to stardom. There were rumors of a romance with fellow tennis player Maria Gonzalez Jimenez, but Alcaraz maintains his single status. He acknowledges the difficulty of maintaining a relationship amidst his demanding career and constant travel. Alcaraz's dedication to his craft, combined with his grounded personality, makes him a refreshing addition to the world of tennis. With a grueling training regime that starts at 9.30 a.m. every day, his relentless pursuit of excellence is evident. As he continues to conquer the court and capture the imagination of fans worldwide, one can only expect even greater feats from this young phenomenon. Whether he finds love or not, one thing is certain. Carlos Alcaraz is a force to be reckoned with, both on and off the court. And there you have it, folks. Carlos Alcaraz, the tennis sensation who continues to dazzle the world with his phenomenal talent and drive. As we look forward to Wimbledon, the burning question on everyone's mind is, how good is Carlos Alcaraz? Can he clinch yet another Grand Slam title? But tennis isn't the only thing on his plate. Have you seen Carlos Alcaraz's net worth lately? It's skyrocketing, and with that wealth, He's living quite the life. His luxurious Carlos Alcaraz house is the epitome of elegance. And let's not forget about his impressive collection of Carlos Alcaraz cars. A true car enthusiast's dream. Speaking of his personal life, Carlos Alcaraz's girlfriend is often seen cheering him on, adding to his incredible support system. And what about Carlos Alcaraz's family? They're his backbone, providing the strength and encouragement that fuels his success. We'll dive into his daily grind next time, Carlos Alcaraz's routine that keeps him at the top. And don't miss our feature on Carlos Alcaraz's best shots that leave audiences in awe. Stay tuned, smash that like button, and subscribe for the latest updates on your favorite tennis star. Catch you in the next video.